So the first amphibian on our list is the tomato frog. Now this little guy is a beautiful golden color. He's got really dark red feet. We're pretty sure this one's a male because the males, they typically are the more yellow orange color. And the females are usually that brighter red color that looks more like a ripe tomato. Whereas these guys kind of look like unripened tomatoes. So let's get kind of a closer look at his color. All right, so we're gonna get an overhead view. You can see how really nice the, the coppery, uh, kind of a yellowish, orangish color kind of looks like an autumn leaf. And then he's got that really nice red coloration on his back legs. So pretty sure this one's a male. And then they've got that nice little brown face. Yeah, it's so cool. But yeah, these guys, they get about three to five inches. Uh, the females, they get bigger, males stay smaller. And for these guys, you would probably need a 20 uh, long tank for uh, when they get to be an adult. These guys are young still, but they're growing quickly. All right, I got the female out. She was dug down, but you can see there's a huge difference between these two guys. That's the male on the left, female on the right. Here's a picture of her up on the log, just to give you a little bit of a better look. So we'll quickly get a look at this guy. It's a good side view. But yeah, he's pretty cool too, but he's all puffed up. Now next on our list of beautiful amphibians, we've got to pick one of our poison dart frogs. And these are actually called bumblebee arrow frogs. Looks like we just got one little guy in here, but they have, oh my goodness, they look like they've been painted, so. They are like some of the most beautiful frogs you'll ever see. They come in all sorts of different colors, the poison dart frogs do, but I'll have to pick this one as one of the most brightly colored ones that we've got right now. And these guys, um, they do good in like this size of a tank. You don't need a huge tank for these guys. They're pretty good for if you need like an animal that doesn't take up much space. So yeah, they're very pretty animals and they don't take up much space and they make really great uh, pets, especially for those to li who live in like apartments or in the city or something. So, yep, very, very beautiful. So you guys see here, we've got a whole lineup of Pac-Man frogs, but if we'd have to go for the prettiest one we've got, we'd have to pick this one ornate horn frog. Now these guys got lots of nice color. They're usually a, a red and green colored frog but some show it more than others. But this guy, he's definitely got a lot more of the red than the green. Kinda looks like Christmas. All right, so here's a good look at him. You can see that this particular ornate horned frog has got a lot of red on him, and he's gotta be the reddest one we've gotten. We do have another one back there, but it's more of a dull red, kind of a brownish red color. Whereas this one, he is pretty fantastic. He's ready for the Christmas season, for sure. <laughs> he is amazing. All right, now we've got um, quite a few different tree frogs at our store, but we'd have to go with these guys being the most beautiful. I know we've got tiger leg tree frogs. Um, I know we've got green tree frogs, but for the most beautiful, I have to go with the red-eyed tree frogs. And we actually have some captive bred ones in. We have some babies and we have some adults. Like, you may not have noticed, but did you notice on this plant? There's a frog right here. And he's got some nice white speckling too. Some of your white, uh, your uh, red-eyed tree frogs will have that. I have some nice additional speckling. Let's see if I can get him to open his eye. <gasps> there he is. Isn't he gorgeous? They got those nice orange feet, bright red eyes, and they have that nice little, you can't really see it right now, you can kind of see it there. He's got that little blue coloration on his waist, but yeah, let's see. I'm not going to touch him too much because of the oils on my skin, but yeah, you can see that nice, yeah, that nice blue color there. He jumped on top of the other one. <laughs> So yeah, he's got some really nice blue colors. They all do. But uh, 
those red eyes, you cannot beat the red eyes of a red-eyed tree frog. Here's another one of our big old red-eyed tree frogs. If you look really close, I don't know if you can see it here, but let's see, you can see their eyelid is really pretty. It's like a squiggly pattern almost. They have that membrane that goes over their eye to protect it. And oh, I don't know if I can get close enough to show you guys, but it's really cool. He's got it going right now. There. You can kind of see it. There we go. That's really pretty too. And you can see his red eye underneath it. That's so cool.